The citation. <laughs> Hell no, maybe we don't need more vodka. <laughs> So we've had the bus for two weeks now. And I come home from work on a Tuesday with this bright yellow citation warning twist tied to the front door. I feel like a criminal. It basically states that we had 24 hours to move the bus off of our property, AKA the code violation, or it would follow with an actual citation. The citation is $255 and then it's another $255 for every 15 days that we are not in compliance with code. So Bo had called the code enforcement officer to see what they needed from us to fix this problem. And he pretty much said, if I can prove that the school bus is a motor home, then there's not a lot he can do and that we would dissolve the case and we'd walk away. So um, he also let him know that the title hasn't made it to us yet. And he said that he would work with us time frame wise as much as possible, but that following Friday or Monday, uh, the citation would be issued. So sure enough, I came home from school on Friday to the citation to a side to the front door. And so thankfully the following Monday, our title finally showed up and Bo was able to take this, um, this past Friday yesterday off work to go to the tax collector's office to try to get the title transferred over. Yeah, as soon as we got the citation, I started doing research to find out what do I have to do to get my school bus registered as a motor home. And what I found on schoolie.net was a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. I'll include the link in the description below on where you can go to the State of Florida website and print out the packet that I printed out. What I did was print out the packet of information and then I highlighted the certain areas that pertain to our case. What we're trying to do is change a heavy duty truck into a motor home. In the section that tells you what are the requirements to do so, you, it shows that you have to type up an affidavit and take it with you to the tax collector's office. You have one of three options in um, changing it over. Like there, you have to do one of three things to change over the school bus to a motor home. Yeah, you either have to have uh, running water, 110 power, or a propane gas stove. So what I did, was put my Coleman stove in the bus on a table and then I called my local mobile notary guy and he come over and notarized my affidavit I had typed up. The people that we had found the information from didn't say that they had their paperwork uh, notarized but we felt that taking the extra steps couldn't hurt and the more we did the better. Yeah and it, it, it was true to that. When I got to the DMV the lady did not have a clue how to do what I was trying to do. She had to take my packet and my affidavit back to the back to her manager, and her manager was the one who actually had to help me. The paper actually is a state of Florida form, so that that obviously makes it to where they didn't they took it legitimately. Yeah, and they're not approached with this situation very often at my local tax collector's office, so this was a first for them. It helped a lot having everything ready to go and pretty much showing them how to do what you're wanting to do. And having the affidavit notarized really helped out. And also having the, all the important um, information highlighted so they were able to go directly to the, the detail if they needed to instead of having to sort through the forms. Yeah, so after about 10 minutes of uh, my teller being in the back talking with her manager, she come back up to the front with my new title and she asked for $100. So I think it came out to $108 that we were able to get the title transferred over to a motorhome. So we now have a motorhome. We now own a motorhome. And we had actually, or he had actually already set the appointment with the code enforcement officer to come by that Friday afternoon and hoping that everything went the way that it thankfully did at the tax collector's office that morning. So he showed up that afternoon and Bo was able to present him with um, all of the documentation, primarily the title saying it was now a motorhome. And he issued us this bright green, um, what is it? <laughs> this bright green tag, a notice of compliance. This shows that we are within code for our area. And he said that if any other code 
uh, enforcement officers get me any trouble or if any of my neighbors have any issues with my motorhome parked in my driveway to present them with this tag which has my case number on there and if they would like to look it up they can see that this case has been closed and I am now within compliance. So it does not matter that it is still bright yellow anymore. We can do, do with it as we please, but during this process, we did find out that um, as an owner of a motorhome, we have to keep it parked 20 feet away from the street. And that could have been a potentially another reason why we got the initial citation was because we weren't able to move it to its permanent location where it is now, uh, further back on the side of the house. So it was kind of sticking out and a little bit of an eyesore at the time, but now it is in its um, in its good home, which is alongside the house, out of the middle of the driveway, and it is um, registered now as a motorhome. So there's not a whole lot that can be done about it that we're aware of at this yeah, point. Yeah, <laughs> even having the 40-foot yellow school bus in our driveway is still considered a motorhome. Yep. We plan to paint it soon, but it's still a few weeks out from us being able to do that. We have a lot of big plans for it, but we plan to use it as much as possible until it uh, gets to the point of being immobile um, once we get to that step in the renovation. Yeah, we enjoy taking it out on the weekends. I'll come home from work and I'll say, hey, let's get in the bus and go for a ride. And our friends are really getting a kick out of the fact that we have a school bus. And we hope that in the near future, you guys will be seeing a video of us getting to take a group of friends to the Springs, either for a day trip or a camping trip. Uh, we, I mean, we have so many plans um, before and after the conversion. So follow along, subscribe to our channel. You can find us on Facebook and on Instagram. And uh, we try to update once or twice a week. And, you know, we're living the scenic route. I don't need her, I don't need him. Fuck it, I 